Welcome. It's another day of lockdown. Another day of some lockdown gaming. I think what I'm going to do is officially add an extra phase to the beginning of each turn, which will be the beginning of each video, called the amendments phase. <laughs> This fellow couldn't have moved because he was the one that barraged him and spent the action. So that was easy. I forgot to spend the action, then thought, oh good, I'll get him off the beach. No, he'd already been used. And this one, they moved to there. And then I thought, while well, the HQ was there, oh, that's a good idea, I might move him up. So no, that was, illegal. Now I probably wouldn't have moved the HQ up without them up there but like I said if I make mistakes that hurt us then bad luck but if it's illegal then it has to come back. All right turn seven we get Mr. Patrol action. It can really hurt instead of the position firing it disrupts everything in its field of fire it, it's uh, <laughs> do not underestimate how catastrophic that can be all right we have a reinforcement so i'll just check i've got the light right that's that's the white light we usually use i quite like that warm light all right so we have land, we've done amendments phase. We now can do the landing phase and we get green circle. Well, he's not a circle and there's no drift. So he can land. There, as far away from that as possible. Event phase. Ooh, take a naval fire marker. You know what? I think I might comply with that. Always a handy thing to have. Drum roll, Japanese fire phase. Do counterattacks first. Now, in this situation, the one that is closest to a beach landing hex, he's three, he's three, then the southernmost. So he will move first, go into that unoccupied position, lose his depth marker and say, I have achieved what I set out to achieve. So that's him. Next one is going to go barreling into the nearest US unit. So that's going to be him, two away. And we get our close combat. He's come from that hex. It's a non-positional hex. So we'll be using his counter-attack color, which is purple. So he gets one card for each of those, one for being a tank, one for being four strength or more. We get four for the pips, or up to four, and then we get one for counterattack stance. We go first, units next door are adjacent. What a nice start. He gets disrupted loses a card, he goes at us, miss, we go at him, US fire on counter attack, so that counts as a hit, wow this is the best, I think this is our best close combat yet, he goes again, conscript surrender doesn't count, we're on scathe, then we've got three cards left for a hit, miss, <laughs> yes, hit. <laughs> we kill him. 
So that's the first counter attack unit we've been able to knock off the board. Knocked everything around. So he came from there, hit us there, and we're disrupted. Well, that's not helpful but he's in the fire zone, can allow us to call in artillery on that. Uh, we're going to need more than that, because purple... Okay, this one. He can go to either of these. They're both six steps, so he doesn't get an advantage hitting one over the other. He'll go closer to the beach. So he comes barreling in on that coming from that hex and here we go again this time it is a non-position hex so we'll be using his brown color he gets one for each unit one for being four strength or more and one for being a tank we get up to four for the pips one for the flamethrower one for the counterattack We've got units right next door, so we go first looking for brown. Wow, we got a hit. We're doing better this time. He loses a card, which would have been a hit. He misses us anyway. US fire on counterattack. We get him because of US fire on counterattack, so he gets hit again and loses another card, which would have been a hit. He hits us, but US fire on counterattack. Treat card is no hit. Well, now we're getting the luck. Brown, we hit him, he's dead. Well, I'm in a bit of shock. But it does illustrate what I feel is an issue that one of my, it's my only issue with the game is that um, I think the close combat system needs to be reworked because it's so wild, like it wild swings of luck. Look at that one. I don't think we took it up until then. I don't think they ever took a hit and now we don't take any hits and they get destroyed. This fellow can go to that one or that one. He'll take the westernmost, then the southernmost. So he goes to there. That is counter-attacking. So now we do the fire card. Purple. He will lose his disruption. He has activated this fire phase. He has activated this fire phase. Purple is a redeploy if occupied and outside and reinforce if within, if we're in his fire zone, but they don't get depth markers. So we're in his fire zone, so he will get a depth marker, I think. He does. Happy days, being sarcastic, he loses his disruption, being purple, he will redeploy this purple, one, two, three, he won't do anything. None of the occupied positions will do anything. And then there's this purple mountaintop position. I don't even know if they move, but I'm going to assume they do because they certainly fire. He could get to there or there, and I don't think either of them are going to be any closer to that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, so he doesn't do anything. So that's purple. <clears throat> Green A, we don't have an A. We don't have the assaults happening just yet. So green is only firing 
if we're in its field of fire. Nope. 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 Well, let's just take a brief moment there. Nothing happened. Revel in the silence. Now brown. Well, this brown always has a go. Looking for a triangle. Didn't get one. Unlucky. Unlucky. Any other brown fire zones that we're in? Because it's not a special action. No, well, we can... Uh, I don't think we got a hit. Well, I'll take that. Okay, second event card. Place a hero in a depth. Place a hero in a depth. I need a hero. Give him the hero. start working we're gonna start working and the depth can't go to those who are we closest to he's already got one he's now got one three away two away bloody hell that filled up fast one minute it's empty next minute it's a unit and a depth marker Okay, well that just got extra nasty. So that's the event. HQ phase doesn't happen yet. US action phase. Let me just take a brief pause while I peruse the board. Well, we have an extraordinary opportunity here. Not just because all of this is now vacant. I mean, that's fantastic. But because that's vacant, all of these yellow fire zones that would prevent us from moving, all of them just went away. So we can do things like this. Don't have to stop. Nothing is going wrong. Occupy. Now this. This blue position is the only position within three of the red. Red's such a critical position. That's why I had a short heart attack when they redeployed into it. But, and it's also why as soon as I got a hero, I sent him out after it. Because at least with a full strength unit, eight points, that's clear terrain. So even if the strongest unit in the board showed up there, as long as he doesn't have a depth marker, we're going to be able to double him. Seven plus one from the hero and we can suppress him or if we've got the weapons kill him and that's what happened so this is the only hex that threatens that the trouble is at the moment i have to send a full strength company there and he can only ever be attacked by that but because it's a fr free victory hex and we're going to take it Now that means we will send him in there with his free move. Whoops. Back here. We will run him back 
to be useful down here. We will run the HQ back, one, two, three, to be useful here. Use the cubes, Eric. So cube, 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 and the HQ has moved. Put one there to remind me. Here, get rid of the disruption, cube. Get rid of the disruption, cube. We need to shut this position up. The trade-off of getting hit there and disrupted. <clears throat> but we have a undisrupted units in its in the purple field of fire, so we can call in artillery. He is out of range. So he needs to be flanked. All right, he's the free one. So purple's purple. We, there's, they've got no depth marker. So I'll have a go at him. Purple, we miss. That's not what I was hoping for. We will spend an action on him. Purple, so he only deals out one hit and we got him. <clears throat> Was a purple diamond, so we would have killed his depth marker. So that means we're only gonna get hit once by purple now. So we can cube him and him free action one Ridiculous. <clears throat> Cube. He can move up there. So he's finally in range. Cube. How the hell did he land up there? He couldn't. He couldn't land up there. So he would have landed there.
10, 12, 9, <coughs> excuse me, 9 plus 2 is 11, plus 5 is 16, plus that is 17. It gets halved through the bush. That way I've got flank, I've got bazooka, oh, I've got it with him anyway, and I've got artillery. And I've got flamethrower. So I think it was 9, 11, 16, 17. He's doubled to 4. Boof! 17 to 7. We have the weapons. Good night, nurse. So we didn't use him. Oh God, a Saltville. So he'll go in there. The flamethrowers will go, no they won't. They'll, he'll go up there, they'll go in there, flamethrowers will go to there, he will move up, headquarters will move up, we just outran our tanks, so the headquarters Headquarters won't move just yet, and we will pull. We will send this tank one, two, three, because he's going to be next to useless, and we'll send this tank up to here, and we'll put the headquarters there. Okay. I'm just thinking about, because it's turn seven, so I'm just thinking about next turn you can plant HQs. I might plant him. One, two, three, four. He covers a pretty big area once he's set. And he's outside of fire zones. But these ones are too premature. I could plant him there. He'd be better if he was more forward, but we can't get more forward until we clear that purple zone. So that... Oh, we've still got one free action. Or have we? Have we? Yes, because we spent it on him for the barrage. So we will spend it to get this fella off the beach. And we'll move him up under there. Whew, that's turn seven. <laughs> 